uh, you, ha you and Neil Patrick Harris have such a great chemistry of hating each other for Dr. Horrible. I was wondering if you were going to be able to get Neil to come on and be a nemesis for Castle. Uh, the only thing holding Neil back, really, is his talent. <laughs> he's got so much that, uh, first of all, he's full of himself. <laughs> And he knows it. Uh, but it keeps him really, really busy. So you'll call him up and say, hey, I was just calling to see if maybe you would be ever interested in doing an episode of, oh, I can't stop now. I got to rehearse for the uh, Oscars. <laughs> right. I'll call you later. But uh, I got, what's your name? Leah. Leah, I, I love your shirt. I want to give you something. Hey. This here is a little uh, double rainbow maker. <laughs> With your permission, I think we should issue the Neil Patrick Harris challenge. I think he's scared to come on the show because of your level of talent. And right here, I will challenge Neil to come on the show, and we will write a role for him. I second that challenge. I think a good way for Neil to find out is on Twitter. You can follow him on Twitter. Maybe for the musical episode. Absolutely. Maybe. There you go. We're ready, Neil. Bring it. I think it'd be really cool to kill him, but okay, music. <laughs> in Alexis and her dad's relationship as she gain, tries to gain more pendants and learn who she is and makes mistakes? Well, Answer the question, Molly. I think there's a conflict between Molly and uh, Nathan's relationship. You've said enough. Listen. <laughs> no going. I don't think... I think Alexis, you know, she respects her dad. I think he respects her. I really don't think that there's going to be much conflict. I really don't see it. Because if I want to do something, I'll just do it behind his back. I mean, <laughs> well, if you think about it, every time he has like a girlfriend over or anything, he always gets Alexis to go away, like hiking or camping, Princeton, all those type of things. Well, if Alexis has a boyfriend, couldn't she just do it when he's at the precinct? Or, you know, <laughs> These are just suggestions. These are just suggestions. You know, like, so she's, a, she's, she's growing up, and we'll see she's going to make mistakes. But her dad has a good handle on her, and he'll uh, put her in her place if she gets too out there. So. And, and we feel Castle's growing up, too, and he's bound to make some mistakes. So that's going to be some tension. They're learning together. Andrew, I'd like to quickly ask, what about Martha and Chet? Are we going to ever meet Chet, the off-camera boyfriend? Uh, we will uh, uh, watch the first couple episodes. Oh, God. That, that was an excellent question. Come on up. I want you to get no, this. No, that was, that was someone else. Oh, that was someone else? Who, who, had, who asked that question? I want you to have this. It's my uh, Sci-Fi Entertainment Weekly Party wristband from last night. <laughs> slightly used. Slightly used. <clears throat> Might smell like mojito. <laughs> That's for you right there. At, you... at the very least, you should sign it. Yes. Yeah. Please, just approve it simply. <laughs> I can go yay. John's gonna give away his socks in a few minutes. I've <laughs> been wearing these since last night. <laughs> I'll autograph the left one, but I need to keep the right one. Okay, I love the Halloween episode for obvious reasons. Any <laughs> Do we have any upcoming episodes um, with interesting costumes or interesting where references to other previous accomplishments and shows? <laughs> Can I, Andrew, before you answer that, can I um, give props to the writer of said episode? Absolutely. She's here. Yeah. Terry Miller, stand up. Yeah. 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 
Well, we, we enjoy having fun with our cast, so when it's, uh, when it's appropriate, you know, one of the things we loved about that episode is that we got to really honor everybody's uh, past, uh, past experiences, but we do owe Stana an episode where she can dress up as her character from the spirit. Questions for Nathan. Um, I'm studying to be an actress, and I just want to say I really look up to you as an actor. You're one of my favorite actors ever. I don't think we'll be up to the same parts, though. <laughs> so you're good. No, she looks up to you because you're so tall. Gotcha. Um, I was wondering what got you interested in acting. Uh, when I was in fifth grade, uh, I moved to a new school. I was always a very shy kid, uh, but I was in a yeah. five-six. I know, right? I was in a five-six uh, split. There was five grade five kids in, in a sixth-grade classroom. Um, and I, one of my friends was the class clown, his name was Cam Germain, and uh, uh, he was sick one day, so I filled in. <laughs> and, I, and I started to understand the value of, uh, of, uh, of the spotlight and, and a certain amount of uh, being on the spot and kind of having a fun time. And, you know, not being mean, but, but you know, having fun. Um, so that kind of started my interest and then I, you know people can jump out of a plane and get that adrenaline rush that's too much adrenaline for me <laughs> being up in front of people in theater doing stage that was my start that was enough adrenaline for me to get me interested in, and get me excited about it and now i just i just get off on doing a great job telling great stories having great dialogue working, working with great people and, and having a great time full-on double rainbow <laughs> come on up here This is my wristband from Friday. <laughs> it sparkles like a double rainbow. What? <laughs> Next. So I was just curious, uh, are there any thoughts or plans for a video game? Maybe voiced by the whole cast? <laughs> There'd be like a little meter in the side as to how much castle pisses people off. And if it goes too high, you get kind of kicked out of the mystery a little bit. You get sent home. You gotta deal with your daughter. I'll deal with you. Uh, we, we, we don't have any plans yet because we haven't figured it out. Work on it. Okay, so... Whenever it comes to like the Firefly and the Halloween episode and all that sort of stuff where in the stop time episode, don't think I didn't see that one. How many of those, Nathan, did you suggest and how many did the writers just uh, say, hey, this show would be fun, let's do this? Uh, you mean the, the winks, the nods, the nudges to Firefly and whatnot? Yeah. Um, well, well, I mean... It, it's so wonderful and meta. Like every, every, we all understand it's a television program, and, and our writers uh, understand, you know, full well the same. I think it's so clever and, and meta, clever, the way they nod, and nudge, and wink, and let everybody know. Oh, hey, this is all the characters they all played in their previous shows: General Hospital, Generation <laughs> Kill. <laughs> so those things are all very clever. But on my own, I will sometimes, you know, I, I threw in the catalyzer. Uh, from Firefly, put it on the bookshelf. Um, and we're, the first time I, uh, Castle got to put on some blue gloves, I just did the... <laughs> little, you know, who cares? Who cares? Someone catches it, someone does it. <laughs> Excellent question, sir. Before you run away, let me give you this. <laughs> They're Oreos. Since Nathan's handing out gifts, uh, I'd like to ask you a question. <laughs> yes, I'm going to miss those Oreos. 